Whoops. <laughs> Keep missing. I've got the doors wide open while I'm running around. Ah! <laughs> it it pushed him around the side of the vehicle, <laughs> and then he just stepped into the open doorway. Oh, that's hilarious. The hitchhike system is funny. Really? Did I really? Inst that's not how I installed that. <laughs> what the hell? There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, that looked weird. Sure, I guess we can go a little further north. Kill a skeleton. He's trying to nibble on me. He's not going to have much luck. I think only my face is likely to take any damage if he manages to hit it. Alright, close up the doors. <clears throat> I think that's everybody. was I looking for earlier? I can't remember. I was going to go look for something. Anybody remember? Flashlight. Yeah, that is what I was looking for. Alright. Flashlight. Not a single flashlight. All about further over this way. Nope, no flashlights out here either. Alright. They're not, they're not bringing flashlights anymore. Ah, what was I doing <laughs> before I got rudely, rudely interrupted? Oh yeah, let's see how much damage that did. Repair. Eh, we actually took a little, <coughs> two little nicks on the second row. Um, need to get. Batter or the ammo, get better batteries, get water. Other than that, the vehicle is complete. Let's go get one more cargo space to swap out for where that's at. Hmm. How many ropes does it take? It's a ridiculous number. Four steel frames and four long ropes. I got three out of the four. I was close. I was close. I could almost do it. Oh, I've got one steel frame here. Do I have steel frames? I think I just have... Yeah. Eh, I'm not Um, well, good morning, Sweden. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
It would be the best, I guess, to swap that out, put a cargo space in that, and put the uh, recharger back on top of it. Let's make sure there's nothing out here I care about. Yeah, damage storage battery. Don't care. What did I mark previously? We left a uh, solar car or electric car out here, but I don't remember the status of it. No. Let's see. Where were my other sightings? This was one of the other. Oh, that was the roadblock. Yeah, bandit bulldozer with no treads, but I could get my other spike plate there if I needed it. Um. And one even easier right there. Oh, that's right. We haven't gone to the magic cabin in that bookstore over here yet either. That seems like an appropriate place to go. We can grab our spike plate and uh, come back from that. So, let's see. I think we're about at the time where I load the vehicle up and we just live out of the vehicle from here forward. Just gonna have to decide. I'm definitely gonna need to take this apart because I can't fold it the way it is. So. That is my permanent solution for any lifting and uh, jacking qualities I need. I used to put it on the front of the vehicle or on some spot on the vehicle, but eh. It just takes, what, 45 minutes to put it together. The rare times I would need to use it from this point forward, that's perfectly fine. This stuff... <coughs> I don't need the bottle jack anymore. Shouldn't need the frames. We'll keep a few platings just in case. Keep the headlights. And we'll keep a few of these, these random parts, but beyond that... We don't need any of this stuff, really. Um, so let's move this around. We'll go ahead and bring the glass. Um, sure, bring that. That. The clean one. And I think that's it. Yeah, we'll see. I'll keep the bottle jack handy. I just, now that the vehicle's done, it would basically have to get shredded in order for me to really need to do anything to it. Um, I mean, I'll be constantly repairing it after every encounter or every a bit of uh, driving around, so the chances I'm going to lose any components without losing the entire vehicle at the same time is pretty small. So, I talk about carrying spares, but I almost never end up using them, so... We'll see. All right, bigger question is right here though. How much of this stuff am I gonna take? Hey there, Kawa Otter, thank you very much. Appreciate the sub. All right. Hmm. Not worried about. Yeah, weirdly, I need a flashlight. <laughs> um, I could roll north. We've killed a bunch of stuff up the north road here. But likely I need to get into an electronics store or something. I think we've hit all the ones here. We're about to head over here. There's none down in the southern area in this area. Actually, no, I can just take apart. Wait, no, headlights don't provide flashlights anymore like they used to. Um... That's right. We still haven't spent the time to raise any electronics. <laughs> this this run has been really weird. Uh, what I have leveled, what I haven't leveled, and what we've got available to us has just been really weird, this run. Um, <laughs> electronics zero. Uh, <laughs> cooking one. 22 days in. Um...
35 liters. It's going to be way more than I ever need from here forward. My reliance on the gas lantern is sloping off pretty fast as well. So I'll be able to use the uh, light in the vehicle and the battery power. <clears throat> Maybe I just won't worry about it. I think what I'll do is we will go ahead and uh, transfer the gas from there into the steel jerry can. That'll probably be plenty for emergency spare. It's about that time where I make my take and leave piles. I assume we're going to sleep in the vehicle from here on out, so we'll take the pillow and the blanket. <clears throat> Those definitely go over here. I also need to get a blindfold put together. That tape's fine, don't care. Yeah, we'll put the food down there too. Hmm, the blindfold is not a valid sojutsu weapon. <laughs> Alright, it's only 5 out of 25. That'll work. So we got our sleeping set up. Let's do. Not worried about anything there. Let's go ahead and stack it all. Don't need wood anymore. So, 516 liters currently sitting there. Let's... Let's what would be faster? Things I'm taking, things I'm not taking. Let's do things I am... not taking. Alright, um, could care less, don't care, don't care, don't care, I don't think I care about the AR anymore either, nah, we'll, we'll take it just in case I have to switch, can't imagine why I'm going to run out of 308 ammo, but in the off chance, that one fires off the ammo that the turrets drop, so... And we'll keep the M1014 as a... I don't know when I would ever use Alright, so I don't need the belt. That one I just need to uh, unload and not deal with anymore. Uh, Alright, so... away um <coughs> not gonna take the welding gear oh crap my age-old ammo question <laughs> why do i bother don't need it copesh and the longsword um I'm going to leave the Kopesh. We'll take the longsword for giggles, although I'll probably never end up using it because I want to try to focus on the Sojutsu this run. Keep a torch. Got to keep that stuff. Guess I'm beyond needing my electric blankets now. Whoops. Need one entrenching tool. Don't need the filter mask anymore. I'm running around with the firearm repair kit. <clears throat> Volume's not really the limitation anymore, so I think I'll just keep doing that. So I don't think I'm going to need spares of any of this stuff. Anymore.
Nah. I can't remember ever reloading from another magazine. I've probably done it, but um, the number of times where I've emptied a gun and not gotten myself out of the situation is vanishingly small. I almost never bother to uh, carry spare mags anymore. I used to do it, but I just never ended up using them. Just like I'm never going to use 99% of all this ammo. It'll never get fired. <laughs> Don't know why I keep picking it up. <clears throat> it's a f it's a disease. It it's a sickness. Alright. Don't need any of this crap anymore. Ooh, more leather. Some of the stuff I'm hanging on to just in case I want to make something else later, but I just don't think I'm ever going <laughs> to disassemble to get gunpowder. <laughs> you don't know me so well if you think I'm going to reload ammo. That's one of the ongoing running jokes. Vormithrax planting a seed to farm and Vormithrax reloading ammo. <laughs> just doesn't happen. Definitely not. And I'm not really beholden to gallon jugs anymore. Yeah, silver ammo would be pretty cool. Don't need you anymore, or you. No thanks. Oops. Yeah, I do need open tin cans. Just in case I need to make a bunch of uh, EMP grenades. <clears throat> I don't care about that stuff anymore. Used to be I needed plastic bags for various things. No longer. Now nah, we're down to the nitty gritty stuff. Oh, that's right. Did this vehicle? I think this one had no problems with the engine. I gotta check that though. <clears throat> Ninety-one leather patches. Oof. That's too many. <laughs> oh, so much. Hmm, excuse me. All right, do need a little bit of some of this stuff. That's <laughs> 275 small metal sheets. I think we can get rid of that. That's pretty easy to source. All right, so I think that gets it narrowed down. So I think we're down to uh, 327. So that's one and a half cargo spaces out of the four that I've got available to take everything here that I care about. <clears throat> so I think that'll work just fine. We can even get that loaded up pretty easily. All right, so let's do... You over there. I don't really care what goes where for now. Move it all. I don't care if it overflows. <clears throat> Next up, there to there. Oops. There to there. And then finally, even these out a bit. Uh, 
sure, whatever. Nineteen to one oh eight. Two hundred to one thirty three. All right, that's good enough. 180 to 140. Actually, let's... Uh, move all the food to this middle spot. And the medicine and the books. All right, it's 88 in the back. 93 here in the middle. And 146. There we go. All right, so 88, 120, 119, and 36. Plenty of space in all of them, so I won't accidentally drop stuff on the ground. Nothing on the ground at any of the locations. All right, not taking any of you. Whoops, I am taking some of you. That's what I am taking right here. <clears throat> Ooh, that's 150 all by itself. Um, 75 and 60, ouch. Unless I install that tank. Maybe I'll do that instead. Maybe we'll carry the gas as a internal 6 liter tank we can pull from as needed. So, if we're going to do that, we're going to uh, fill that with gas. Then we're going to install another tank. I don't really care where. Back here is fine. Then I need to get that gas preferably transferred. I don't, it's not where I want it. I think I left the 6 liter up here, didn't I? Alright, siphon out of that. Build that. All right. <clears throat> Think we might be all set. The folded crane with the boom I attach for all my lifting and jacking needs. Got replacement plating, headlights, track, and uh, reinforced windshield glass. Oops. Got a very can of gas. Bill. Alright, now we've got a jerry can available for odd liquids we need to move around. All the uh, cargo spaces are filled out and equalized. All right, last chance to remind me of something that's really critical. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we're we're probably gonna get moving. Oops. M4 fires the two two three as well, does it? All right, let's let's unload a few weapons real quick. And I don't think I care. Best. Well, I don't need this belt and kajus, that's for sure. Ah, it shouldn't need the uh, <clears throat> brazier any longer. Don't care about the sticks. That pile's useless to me. Don't care. Nothing there. Already sorted that pile. Yeah, I think we are. We're golden. 
Now we're into the glory days of living in our truck. <laughs> the beloved Humvee life. I'd like to get an aisle light put in this center space. And... Yeah, tank treads. For 100% off-road. 64 tops are safe speed, which is twice what I'll ever use. <laughs> so it's got treads. It's got the uh, spiked ram off of the bandit bulldozer. This is my new favorite configuration. This is pretty much my my end vehicle that I, I, I go to towards. The only thing we're missing mainly is I'm missing one spike and I'm missing a belt of ammo for the M2. And then it'll be pretty much complete. Other than uh, one one light I want right here in the middle. And that's it. I just need a flashlight, spiked ram, which we're about to go get, and um, belt for the uh, of, uh, 50 cal ammo for the M2. We're, we're awesome. Alright, so let's dump all of this spare stuff. Don't need the drill with me anymore. Don't need the lantern anymore. Keeping a hold of the firearm kit for all the tool use while I'm running around. Don't need the welding goggles on me anymore. Still can't get enough marksmanship for the red dot sight. I'm just going to have to go shoot crazy to get marksmanship too. I have to make sure I do it when I've got a lot of, a lot of focus. Like now. Um, let's do this also. Let's reload this with a higher capacity battery. And uh, that one's fine. And I need to uh, get my Taylor's kit out. Yeah, I think it's time to bid adieu to our uh, very handy garage that served us really well. We only had a few occasions where a bunch of zombies came and visited, and by the bandit bulldozer pretty much took care of that issue. I don't have the boom crane attached. I've got the boom crane. Ugh, I've got the boom crane parted out. Instead of putting it on the vehicle where it could take damage and get destroyed, it's just sitting here in the form of this folded engine crane with the steel boom separate. Because it won't fold with the steel boom attached. But um, the likelihood I'll need it from here forward is pretty small, and uh, it takes 45 minutes to attach the boom to the crane. And then you can do whatever you need to as a separate item so I can use it for other vehicles and everything. I wouldn't generally use it unless I'm in a safe place anyway, so... I would rather do it that way than attach the actual boom to a portion of the vehicle and uh, have a chance of it getting damaged. So... <clears throat> this is my spare parts pile, basically, for the vehicle. Yeah, the folded engine cranes come with a telescopic cantilever. It's a lot less capable than the, the steel boom. So, it's good for a number of things, but I like going to the end. <laughs> this will solve all of my lifting and all of my jacking problems forever solution. Then, uh, keep just dorking around with the low to mid-level stuff. The steel boom's the uh, biggest one in the game, so... If you can't lift it with a steel boom, <laughs> you're like heavy modding a main battle tank or something. That's so freaking heavy, it's just out of out of bounds. All right, so we got the foul. I still can't mod it the way I want to. What is what is left? Dump Taylor's kit again. 
what are my what are my stats at now so if we dump the backpack this would technically be my fighting fighting orientation mm, 3.8 dodge that's that's pretty good for my fighting setup considering we only have three dodge <clears throat> and um, yeah nothing dropped when I Drop the hiking backpack because we're carrying so little stuff. We only got eight volume out of the 63. Uh, all my main gear is repaired and reinforced. Nothing needs fixing. Now we can read in style. <laughs> I think actually, oh, hey, we got a book we haven't evaluated. So many books still. So oh, many levels we haven't pursued. All right, so what time is it? Two forty-four. Let's let's pull up to the water supply real quick and see if we can get the uh, the water tank filled up before the sun goes down without getting bothered too many times. Firefighter zombie. Actually, can I get to the water? I yeah, might be able to get close enough still. Ah, that one up there. I can definitely... All right. Go up to that one. If you're wondering what I'm talking about is... I just want to get my kitchen unit close to a fresh water source, like right there. Now I can uh, craft up clean water to fill up my tank. And where's the zombie at? See, he doesn't see me yet. 52 away. He'll probably come down to bother me. By standing here, though, I've got access to my workbench to get the bonus, plus my kitchen unit and the water source, so we can just uh, craft up 60 liters of clean water, and I won't have to worry about it for quite a while. Ah. Hot plate bees. Ah, crap. I got two different... Let's fill that with... Sure, antiseptic sounds good. <laughs> Just to prevent me having to pick from the menu an extra time. How are we doing? 45, 50... 55, and I don't have enough. 55.8, I just need to do a little bit less. Oops. Do, uh, what, 15? Mm, 59.5, good enough. Siphon, give me my antiseptic back. <laughs> All right. So, now I've got a uh, full tank of clean water. We got gas. If I ever need it for my lantern, I'll probably end up ditching this gas. I doubt I'm going to use the lantern again. Especially once I get the other storage batteries installed, the clean ones at full. As soon as that happens, I'll ditch the, uh, the gas and the gasoline lantern. But for now, just in case, no reason not to have it available. All right, we'll just sip some nice clean water from our kitchen unit. Right behind my driver's seat. And um, we're golden. I can crouch and they can't see me because I'm, I'm tricky. <laughs> Crouching is so funny. Ah, right, what's next on the list? We're at uh, 7 o'clock, so we're going to lose the light here pretty quick, which is actually good. We're going to take advantage of the current light we have. We're going to relocate ourselves... It over here? No, it was over here. We're just heading over here. So we're, we're just going from where we're at right over to here. We'll park somewhere maybe south of this street. And uh, I just want to grab one item off the bulldozer if I can manage it. Grab one spike. And then uh, when, the, when the dark hits, we're going to take a trip up to the magic cabin and the bookstore. And we'll see what else we might find on the way. Oh, I do loves me, my tricked out Humvees. 
makes my life so much easier. <laughs> so much faster. I don't really care about anything I run into except for uh, boulders and trees. <laughs> Everything else I just gotta stop bothering to try to dodge. Alright, we're gonna go around the farm. We'll go around the farm from the south side. Necromancers. Alright, flashlight. Ammo uh, belt for my M2. And whatever we find at the bookstores. All right, I guess I could park up here. See if I can clear the area and get my spike stuff right now. Go we'll try that. See how, how crowded the area looks. Nice and quiet on the back side. All right, this will work. All right, are we geared up for 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 getting stuff done? Got the reloads for the foul. Uh, I got my tools. Got the hose, which I shouldn't need. Goggles, I won't need immediately, but the sun's going down. I don't think I need anything else right now. I'm not going to go roller skating. For full mana. Yeah, we can almost see the bandit bulldozer from here, so let's let's go see if we can clear the area here and manage to grab a spike before the sun goes down. Alright, we got a little bit of a crowd. What are they doing? Oh, we got a tank! 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 That right there. Come on, M2! Mounted M2 Browning! Have ammo! It's in perfect shape, so... And it doesn't say there's any ammo on the ground. So there's a really good chance we got a... Uh, a belt of ammo waiting for us right there. And maybe even some diesel. And there's likely to be a jerry can of diesel right there as well. So, good times. Watch there be a perfect vehicle sitting in this garage. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I couldn't believe we found three bandit bulldozers on day one. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I never found that many. Oh, zombie snapper. Alright, snapper I actually care about. That guy's that guy's somewhat dangerous. The rest of them were no problem, but the snapper concerns me a bit. What are the chances up? I already got their attention. Alright, let's let's fight them right here in the corner. Uh put the spear away real quick. Cast my power up. So we got our synaptic stimulation going. Don't think I need to do anything else really. Spear back out. Stop beating on my bulldozer, you punk. Snapper coming? Nope, that's the crawling zombie. He's still gonna get in my way. What do we got? Dandelion wine. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Let's pop inside and check that garage. Nope, no perfect vehicle. Somebody's making noise in there. Hmm. Come on, crawling zombie. Get over here. Need you gone before I try to take this thing apart. I don't want to attract anybody else's attention. Ah, what's what's in here? Jerry can? Yep, jerry can of gas. I don't care. All I want is one of these things. Fifteen minutes. We might make it. We got it. All right, so we got the spike plating. So now I can finish the uh, 
change up there. Now I just need the ammo out of that tank. And they did me a favor. They broke the wall right there so I can stand here and unload the, uh, the, the M2 if it's got any ammo for me. Actually, let's... We're... Eh, we're only barely overweight. I'm going to keep the tank between me and the snapper. Southeast. Wasn't there... I think there was a, a roadblock over here, if I remember right. All I care about is right here. Unload. How many? How many? Whoops. That's not the one that I wanted. Damn it. <laughs> M2 browning. Wait a minute. The browning on the other side? I'm confused. What did I just unload? Oh, I went on this side. That's the wrong one. Oh, it was too heavy? Oh, it was too heavy. All right, 34 rounds. You're correct. I forgot I was overweight because of the uh, spike plating. Go ahead and grab the loose ammo, and we'll see if there is diesel back here. Even more loose ammo. I... <laughs> 120 pounds already. That would put me at 150 pounds. That would be almost double weight. No, no jerry can. More 762 though. We'll grab that. That's from a foul. I, I don't think I'm going to bother to grab that. And he's going to come get me when I'm going to run out of stamina. Oh, he's pretty slow. Alright, no problem. Alright, here's my favorite noise. <laughs> now we're ready to rock. I don't have quite as much ammo as I'd like. We need more. But uh, one more belt with a decent amount will give me more than I'll probably ever use. I only use it usually to pop shock zombies or shocker brutes or things like that that are going to be pesky when I'm trying to pop out and do something. Alright, uh, leave the spares. I don't need to carry that much ammo extra. Um, now we're just down to the spike plating replacements, and then a flashlight, and yeah, find uh, more ammo. You spotted me over there? He has not. Let's, let's crouch. We'll see how, how well the crouching does. So if I try to remove this, 18 minutes, go ahead. Install. 30 minutes. Cool. You can get it done before the sun goes up. Goes down all the way. There we go. Perfectly clean. Perfectly clean. Storage batteries. Oh yeah, storage batteries. I am still on the hunt for at least two perfect condition storage batteries, preferably full. Then we'll be good. All right, stop crouching. <laughs> sure, we'll keep a hold of that uh, there. All right, so it's 8.18. Sun's going to go down any time. I still want to visit that and that. But we're going to wait for the sun to go down. So let's just read for a few minutes until the sun finishes descending. What to do, what to do, which one? I think we're going to keep working on computers. And now the Super Boomer shows up. Thanks for the cashews. Alright, made a little bit of progress. <coughs> um, get rid of that. Wear the goggles. Turn on the goggles. I am keeping my mask on, which is my habit. I, I've over time, I've just decided I'm always going to wear the thing. Too often, I don't have it on, and they poke me in the eyes, 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 and it's head damage, head damage, head damage. So I've just said, screw it. Always wear the survivor mask, even if it does slow down my stamina regen. It's better to adapt to the stamina regen slow down than it is to just constantly be getting poked in the eyes or smacked in the mouth because those are two valid hit locations for the head 
And anytime I take head damage is always because I get poked in the eyes or smacked in the mouth. So, especially when you're running things like Imperceptive Healer. Oh crap, I didn't even notice. Full health bars! Full health bars! Alright, I am not gonna... Oh wait, we got a... Oh, we got no moon, do we? Ah, oh, so disappointing. Clear, clear weather, finally. <laughs> How much can I see with the uh, full moon currently? If I take those off... Ah, I got nothing. <laughs> There's no full moon bonus. Alright, that's, that's, that's a no moon. Alright, so, we get the green screen. Um... No real clean way over there, short of just heading back to the street and kind of patrolling the street. That's where we're going. Safe mode on. See how many times I get ambushed by predators. And I instantly run out of stamina because I was a dumbass. <laughs> do to do to do. Let's go hide up here for a second. All right. That away, cast that, and I'm gonna go without anything in my hands. Hey there, snapper. All right, so I gotta go follow this curve, basically. be nice to find a uh, flashlight. I'm going to hold off on trying to check houses or anything until the trip back. If even then. <clears throat> Alright. Another block or so. RV. Actually, I could... Should be able to... Let's see if we can do this. Crouch. Flashlight on. Move that. What does it give me when I do that? Wired sheet metal. Yeah, that's not what I need. How about... Nah, it's not going to do what I want. Hey zombies, you're doing a fine job. Keep taking that apart. Super Boomer. Oh, another Humvee. Look at all that diesel. I want 50, 58 more rounds of 308. <laughs> um, no. on the magic cabin right there what you got for me magic cabin show me the goodies i am i am really missing out on goodies small mana crystal not so great 
least one book over there on that side. And, oh, Complete Idiot's Guide to Technomancy! And the Oncoming Storm, finally! <laughs> we got some stuff I can use! What do they have? Taze and Lesser Quantum Tunnel. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, dang it. <laughs> that's, that's not exactly what I thought considered useful. <laughs> Uh, lesser quantum tunnel is a not so is is a basic technomancy spell. <laughs> really, tunneling through solid matter. <laughs> and the oncoming storm. Well, look at that one: jolt, wind strike, wind running, call, storm hammer, lightning bolt, and lightning blast. So that's got some potential. We my 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 plan was to go with. Uh, the, uh, what, Storm Shaper? I forget what it's called. Do, do, do. Bring this back up again. So I was planning on going, yeah, Storm Shaper instead of Calvinist this run. I got excited about the Technomancy stuff, and it's like, Taze, eh. <laughs> Quantum Tunnel, eh. I don't know. Looks like that's all we're gonna get, unfortunately. I'll take it. It's it's different. Wind running? I assume it's like a haste spell, isn't it? I can't really tell what it does without studying the book in detail. I guess I could go hide in the bedroom real quick. Activate Flashlights, activate, book. So, wind running. Magical wind pushes you forward as you move, increasing or easing your movements and increasing speed. Yeah, that sounds fun. Sounds like a good one. Only two difficulty. Electricity shoots from your fingers. Blast of wind, that's probably what? Yeah, that's bash damage, electric damage. Storm Hammer, unfortunately, um, that's not the damage type I'm going for. <laughs> Lightning Bolt, difficulty 6 electric. Dude Lightning, Lightning more directed than most Lightning and travels in a line through most solid non-solid targets. Alright. So yeah, that'll be fun. I got so much reading I need to do, though. <laughs> Taze. Short range bolt of electricity to shock your foes and quantum tunnel. Range variants, yeah. Maybe I'll do lesser quantum tunnel. That might get us into some places that uh, would be a little pesky otherwise. Not too many though, now that we've got. As soon as I finish getting my computer skill up, especially between the computer and the pickaxe, there's not too many places you can't go that uh, lesser quantum tunnel will take me. It's good though, it's good. We finally found some stuff that we're gonna... magic we can use. Alright, that's it for the magic cabin. So, we can take that off of our list. Now we've got a bookstore directly across the way. Haven't run into any Night Stalkers yet. <laughs> Another book of trees, huh? That's it. That's it. Book of trees. We already got a book of trees, right? That's druid. <coughs> I'm not doing druid. So, we're done here. I didn't get enough. I never did finish enough computer skill to reliably hack into those uh, doctor's offices. There is an electronic store just north of me. I think we'll go run up there. Oh, and a craft shop. Stop and check the craft shop, too. High chance of a flashlight up here. So, next block north on the right-hand side.
Oh, it's going to be a fancy one. We'll go pick our lock in the back. We've got eight mechanics now. Shouldn't give us too much of a problem. Unless it's heavily populated back here. Uh, let's go with baseball bat. Ah, crap. <clears throat> Get down here, Skell Dog. He's gonna pull me in. I think I might go with the um Ah, <laughs> it just keeps getting bigger. Alright, maybe I won't check that. Maybe we'll we will go check the front. Oh yeah, alright. Ah, first click. What do we got? Mini flamethrower, joint torsion, and a battery system. Eh. Eh. What I'm not seeing is a flashlight. Oh, there's a headlamp. That'll work. Headlamp will work just fine. Hmm. Don't care. Eh, sure. Take the battery out of that. Hey there, headlamps. Even got batteries. Another thing I can wear on my face. No, dog's coming to get me. There we go. Nice. Uh, keep the dehydrator. Hmm. End pads. Yeah, we'll keep it for the moment. I might have to ditch it. Old advanced electronics. And copper. Alright, I got all the copper and solder I might ever need. Alright, we got exactly what I was hoping for. We got our, our headlamp. So I can wear the headlamp now. <clears throat> Use that for a light source. I don't have any of the disposable batteries with me, but that's fine. Now we can use the flashlight I've got for the light that I want in the vehicle. Cool. So, that's done as well. What else? Banks, banks. Again, I don't have my computer skill up to go hack the way in. Um. Hmm. Well, let's see. What was left on my list? I got the vehicle now finished except for storage batteries, which we're going to find during the daylight hours and get fixed. Um, there's no more bookstores in this entire city. There's really nothing near me that I care about. Even the doctor's offices don't hold much of interest for me at this point. Oh yeah, the craft store right across the street. Did want to go look at that real quick. Why am I breathing hard at just one bar gone? Ah, glass. Don't care about that. Hey, K9 or Z9, you gonna give me Kevlar? Do I need Kevlar at this point? 